The next speaker is Laura Ruiz Remolina, the role of engoglin isoforms in inflammatory diseases. Do you know what inflammation is? Okay. Imagine that you are sitting in a room and suddenly you kick your food with a bell. That's inflammation. Or maybe you are cooking a delicious meal and you just get burned with oil. That's inflammation too. Or even you are in the sofa writing in your phone and it fails on your face. That's also information. All of these examples that I have told you happen almost daily, and that's why inflammation is necessary. Inflammation is a biological response when an aggressive chemical, mechanical, or biological agent hurts us. Usually, inflammation is a remedial response, but sometimes it gets too much exaggerated or chronic, and it leads to some disease, such as arthritis, for example, that is a chronic disease. In other cases, inflammation is totally out of control. Two out of three people from all over the world suffer from inflammatory disease. Heart disease, kidney disease, lung disease, cirrhosis, chronic liver disease, influenza, diabetes, hypertension, Parkinson, Alzheimer's, and even cancer. That's, these are the most common diseases in all over the world. <laughs> There's one thing that are common in all of these diseases. Since they are, this is really difficult to find a cure for all of them. But these things that all of them have in common are leukocytes. Leukocytes are the white blood cells and they are totally necessary in inflammation. So if we can control the number of leukocytes that travel to the focus, we could control inflammation, which means that we could control inflammatory disease. In my thesis, we have discovered that endoglin, a protein that all of us in this room have in each of the cells of our body, can control the number of leukocytes that travel during inflammation, which means that endoglin could control this inflammatory disease. So I'm really proud to say for the very first time that inflammation can be treated, that endoglin could be the key to save many, many lives in the near future. Thank you.